Action. Today we're going to be reading Mighty Truck. Hope is only a wash away. Everything clear and stood for fun somehow seemed to get dirty. Not just a little splatter on the mud flappies, and the flaps dirty, really dirty, really, really dirty. Clarence didn't mind, but his boss did. Is Clarence, is that you under all that muck? How do you tease clean up before work starts? Bruno and I were hopping to have fun time for donuts, Clarence said. Won't the rain give me clean? Three cloud birds, two downpours, and a serious denture. Wouldn't do it. Get yourself to a truck wash now. All right, I'll go, Clarence sighed. If you say so. By the time Clarence made it to the truck wash, thunder was rumbling. <coughs> Suge <Suits> rage. <coughs> Flap or wet. Water splashed from every angle. Just then. Dun, 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 dun. Lightning struck everything, shook the fizzing, froving, glowing foam, washed clear and clean. His paints shimmered, glimmered, glistened, glistened and gleamed. Clarence felt revved up, raring, warring to roll. And powerful, he said. He, he said, really, really powerful. Mm. Look, kid, it says MT. That stands for Mighty Truck on the cover. Soon Clarence found Bruno stuck in some mud. Need help? A little help? No need to. There no need to dirty yourself, shiny clean stranger. My friend Clarence is on his way. We're going for donuts. In the heel, push me loose. You joker, said Clarence. All right, let's go. He meant to give just a nudge, a nudge, but bonk. Wow, what do you know? Gosh, you sure are mighty truck, young Bruno. Mighty truck, Clarence liked the sound of that. Donuts would have it to wait. Clarence hurried off and found his neighbor, Mr. Dent. He shifted down into his mighty drunk voice. What's the trouble, sir? Dude, my cat Thornton is stuck in a tree. I'll get him down, said Clarence. Um, where's the tree? It like just got towed away, Mr. Dent said. All right, let's go. Time for a turbo. The spray truck had a head start, but it didn't have mighty speed. When Clarence got up, Thornto was barely hanging on. Clarence spun into reverse. <laughs> Throat leaped into his truck bed, and they both fled holding on. Major thanks, dude, said Mr. Dent. Catch you later. Uh, 
you just call me Mighty Truck. Clarence drove away to look for Bruno, wondering if there was stale time for donuts. Right then, the voice of Stella, the news helicopter, came on the radio. Danger on today's storm has knocked loose a beam of on the new Axelberg high rise. It could fall at any moment. And that's the second news in the, their channel. All right, let's go. Look out below. Mighty Chuck knew what he had to do. But how will I get somewhere so high in the air, he wondered. Wait, air, that's it. All right, let's go, grow, wheels grow. Mighty truck, pump, 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 pump. Mighty truck, pump, 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 pump. And turn in the air in his tires. And zoom off the garage. Down in onto a never building. Boing and way, way, way back up high, right on top of the high rise. Mighty Chuck swept the day lane and beam on away from the edge of the roof, fired up his brightest little headlight. It's, and well, the loose and the grinder back into place. That mighty truck did it! <laughs> Axel Burke cheered as mighty truck bounced safely onto a pile of dirt. Everyone rushed to meet their new hero, but all they found was grimy old clearance. Did you see that through none of your filthy windshield hat, he asked. Mighty Chuck saved the day. Do, 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 do. That's your emotion. Clarence considered telling her that he was Mighty Chuck, but if anyone knew they might expect him to stay clean all the time, and he really, 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 really did not want that. Not when the getting dirty meant and having fun. Besides, Clarence the all thought uh, as he and Bruno finally got those donuts, help is only a wash away. That's the same message away. Thanks for reading with us. Tune to next time.